Hello my fellow miner, today we will have a look at unlocking Ergo using NB Miner and the new t rig I have spread important information throughout the entire video so you have to watch every single second. No of course I didn't, I understand if you want to skip ahead and watch the GPU that is important to you, just be aware that the drivers may affect the performance. And with that info you can use chapters to skip ahead. For those of you who watched my previous uh, coverage of NB Miner Ergo Unlock, um, I had to retest them all because I actually updated my drivers. And there is actually a difference. Again for returning viewers, note that I've added the RTX 3060 Ti with balls of steel, military graded obviously. Now let's get going with NB Miner RTX 3060 LHR version 2. I lock the core clock to 1540, the memory to 1300 and then I aim for 868 millivolt. That is the sweet point and it will allow you to run LHR pretty high, close to 100, in this case it's 99. I would say the power usage is pretty stable, unlike unlocking Ethereum where it jumps all around the place. Here it's actually quite stable, it's completely fine if you ask me, in the safe zone. This graphic card has Samsung memory and that is the reason why I can run it at 1300. If you like high memory clocks then I have a little surprise for you later on in the video. The hash rate and power usage actually seem quite fair. Let's have a look at the results. 118.6 MHz per second at 102 watts which gives an efficiency at 1.163. Which is actually not bad for a 3060. Up next is T-Rex on the RTX 3060. Unlock the core clock to 1540, set the memory to 1300 and honed in on 800. 868 volts. Some like to use afterburners curve to set the voltage. Um, I prefer my way. I know it's counterintuitive, but it is faster and it's very easy for me. And then it's something I can actually set in the batch file. So next time I start it, the core clock will be set to a minus 110 and that will hone in the voltage at 868. Power consumption looks pretty good and we are getting a 121 megahertz per second which is very nice actually. LHR setting at 97. Now let's have a look at the average result. 121.5 megahertz per second and 105 watts which gives an efficiency at 1.157. T-Rex has a higher hash rate than NB Miner but also at a higher cost. Let's have a quick look at the previous tests I did with NB Miner. Here NB Miner performs 0.6 megahertz per second better at the same cost which gives a better efficiency rate. I'll let you decide if a downgrade is in order to gain 0.6 MHz per second. And now on to the extreme mode. I have two RTX 3060s and one of them I modded with a backplate mod so it cools the RAM from behind as well. And that actually allows me to get 125 MHz per second at 107 watts. That is actually better than my V1 3060 cards. It was a small and relatively easy mod to implement. You can find it on my channel if you haven't watched it yet. Let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti running NB Miner. I locked the core clock to 1350. I aim for voltage of 775. I set the memory to 1100. Please note that if you have Samsung memory, you can go higher than this without any problem. If I had Samsung memory, I most likely set it to 1200, 1300, depending on if I have two or three fans and if they have balls of steel, military grade. This is the card I spent the most time on because, amazingly enough, I can run LHR 100, which means that it never kicks in, which also means it's not unlocking anything at all. However, gaining this level of performance without the unlocker is kind of a fight. While using the unlocker, it's easy mode. Let's have a look at the results. 132.9 MHz per second at 108 watts with an efficiency rating of 1.231. That is actually not bad compared to the 3060, but it's light years behind the original 3060 Ti, which I can get 172 at around 116 to 118 watts. Now let's have a look at T-Rex running the RTX 3060 Ti. I locked the core clock to 1350, set the memory to 1100, 
Um, those with keen eyes will notice that here the voltage is different and so is the tuning. It is at 99.9. .9. The power consumption looks pretty stable and looking at the average in hardware info you will see that it's at 105.6. I suggest you use LHR auto tune mode off as soon as you have found your perfect tuning. Because T-Rex is a troll and all of a sudden it will go up to 100 and then your cars will start locking, which is quite frustrating actually. And then because it increments 1 down instead of 0.1 then you end up with a really bad one. And let's have a quick look at the average. 132.8 MHz per second at 106 watts, which gives an efficiency at 1.253. That is actually not bad considering the RAM. If you have a single ball dual fan graphic card equipped with military graded Hynix RAM, then you may actually only be able to achieve 900 MHz on the RAM. Now it's time to have a look at the RTX 3070 using NB minor. I locked the core clock to 1455 and set the memory to 1300. I aimed for 781 uh, volt. I was able to actually achieve higher than this, uh, it's like 2 MHz more for the cost of uh, 20 watts, which is really not worth it. If you looked at the current power consumption of all the previous tests, you would have seen that they didn't jump that much. This one actually jumps a lot more, but still within the range of one I would say is completely safe for long term use. If you are going for efficiency, this is a very nice setting actually at 99 watts. And that would also allow you to run your fans at a lower speed. I just set mine to 65%. Now let's have a look at the average result. 140.3 MHz per second and 99 watts, which gives an efficiency at 1.417. Comparing to the RTX 3060 Ti, this is much more efficient and closer to the unlocked version, which is around 170 or 174 at 120 to 130 watts. Let's have a quick look at the previous test I did running NVIDIA 471.68. Yet again we see that we get more megahertz per second at a better efficiency. It looks like NB Miner prefers the earlier version of the driver. Now let's have a look at what T-Rex can do with the RTX 3070. I locked the core clock to 1455 and set the memory at 1300. I aimed the voltage at 825 millivolts. As you have most likely spotted, it runs a lot faster and also consumes a lot more power. Talking about the power, it looks quite stable. It's fine within the safe area. Um, it takes a little bit longer to initialize T-Rex compared to NB minor, at least in this case. Tuning was very easy. I set it to auto tune and when it found 92, I turned off auto tuning and then started incrementing the decimal upwards. All in all, I find T-Rex the easiest to tune of them all, while Mini Set is the hardest. It's hardcore hard. And a lot of back on topic, let's have a look at the results. 158.1 MHz per second at 119 watts, which gives an efficiency at 1.329. That is not bad and actually closer to what I would expect. And I hope one day we'll achieve uh, 172 with these cards. We just need Aces to come and put some military graded balls in them and then everything will be fully unlocked. If you wonder why I keep joking about military grade stuff, check out my RTX 3060 Ti LHR unlock video. Now it's time to look at the RTX 3080 Ti in NB minor. Unlock the core clock at 1770 and set the memory clock to 1800. That is perfectly safe with my graphic card, as you can see the temperature is quite low, 76 degrees celsius. I got the best performance with 800 millivolts. And as by best performance I mean the highest hash rate at the lowest power and the closest to 100 LHR unlock. Well, according to NB minor that is. Again, looking at the current power consumption, it looks fine. It jumps around 3 watts I think, but that is completely safe. To me it feels like the RTX 3080 Ti has a lot of potential and I hope that one day we'll see above 300 MHz. Now let's have a look at the results. 282.3 MHz per second at 230 watts, which gives a efficiency rating at 1.227. That is not bad. This also shows that the RTX 3080 Ti is the second worst when it comes to efficiency but is one of the best when it comes to taking up space and extra cables. 
now it's time to have a look at T-Rex beating up the RTX 3080 Ti. I locked the core clock to 1770, set the memory at 1800. If you have one with poor uh, thermal pad, you may aim for 1600, I would think. But most importantly, set it to 800 millivolts, either by using core clock offset or using the curved settings by hitting Ctrl F or clicking the three bars up at uh, core voltage. I noticed the RAM here gets a little bit warmer, not super hot but a little bit warmer so they are working more and again the power consumption seems pretty stable especially compared to ethereum unlock again the tuning was super easy now it's time to have a look at the final results 284.6 megahertz per second at 231 watts which gives an efficiency at 1.232 that is not bad. I actually managed to achieve 286, but the increase in watches was crazy, and I had to adjust the LHR setting further down, which resulted in really bad efficiency. Considering that Ergo Unlock is completely new, I think that is very promising, and I can't wait for Lot Miner and G Miner to join in and show what they can do. And as soon as they do that, I will make a video about it. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want a notification. That is a fine term for spam. That is all for this time. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos, go check out my channel. I have a lot of different tests and more are coming. See you in the next one.